So the first thing that I'm going to do is import the brush set. So I'll come over here, import brush set, go to my desktop, and now I'm going to pin that to my brush library over here. Again, I don't use that very often. Um, I need to open my layers, and let's import And we'll change this layer type to multiply. Um, as I mentioned earlier, uh, you can either pull open and generate your own colors, or I like the Copic library. And so we are going to start with, um, let's go with C6 as my base color. And the first thing that I'm going to do is uh, basically hit this casting over here. And this casting. Maybe that. Every place I think I'm going to have the, the same gray color. I'm trying to make quick brush gestures. this hard eraser. Here I'll come back. I'm not worried about that handle right now. I'll have to hit this over here again. And I'll add a layer on top of that. Um, I'm going to pick straight black, go to um, the airbrush, and before I do anything, I'm going to come over here, not there, but to the selection, and click on the layer where my material is, uh, select all that, then go back to the layer above it, and now when I apply this airbrush, it will only hit the portion that I've selected with the uh, magic wand. I'm going to go back to my smaller airbrush, which I guess I've made larger since. And try and get it down to about the size of that fillet running across here. Go to white. And that's probably a little too, too much. Oh, let me add another layer so I can adjust the white. And I'm going to go to this soft eraser and just get some of that right there off. Still give me a little bit of a gradient. I'm just going to leave that portion the natural gray that it was. Go back to this layer, go to my selection, 
and um, maybe I can go back to this one and I can add uh, black to the outside here. Make that a little smaller. Come across that surface. Grab my white. Put that across there. Erase what I don't want. Add another layer. Black. Erase what I don't want. Add just a little bit of a highlight. Again, I'm adding another layer. It's right in here. Erase what I don't want. Zoom in to this area. And in fact, I'm just going to use this selection marquee. This selection tool. Maybe not. Really tiny eraser. Get rid of what I don't want there. I think I'm okay with that. That's defining the geometry pretty well. Uh, if I come over here, um, using my selection magic wand, black. Oops, I didn't change layers. Not much there. Uh, let's see, let's go down to the wheels. Magic wand. Uh, new layer. That's probably pretty good. You might have noticed I did not add another layer there. I'm okay with it. Let's see. I will add another layer here, and we'll add just the slightest little gradient running around. This wheel, just like that. Um, and I could add a tiny little highlight in white right there. Last thing I need to do in that same gray is right back here. Again, probably not worth adding another layer there. I could put a little highlight running across right there. And I think that's probably sufficient. 
All right, so let's go with hmm. Let's go with We want an orange, red orange. Let's do that again. Um, we'll actually go with two different shades of orange on this one. We'll make the panels and the top and the shells out of one, and we'll come back with a different orange uh, a little later. I'll get that shelf in a minute. So the, I guess some of the gradient's gonna be similar on this front panel and the lid. So let me go to my selection tool, magic wand. I'm gonna create a new layer on top of that. Um, and let's just put, to begin with, nice white gradient as it moves across there and we'll actually I'm going to add another layer for this because the highlight would be a little bit different on for this because of where it sits or this more extreme highlight I think on the lid, it's going to be pushed out just a tiny bit. And then we'll have a highlight that kind of runs around. I'm going to go a little bit larger than I need to and come back in with this soft eraser. Choose this tool. And lastly, Let's go with this large one again. 
across the top. Okay, so now let's go dark on the sides. And we could probably adjust that down slightly. And I can probably put a little bit more of a highlight on that crisp edge. And even on top of my line work, I want some extreme highlights. Pop. Pop that. Pop that. Uh, let's see. And I can probably run this. across there and I feel like I've got that front panel done other than one little detail Now let's focus on the shelf over here. And let's see, let's put, we'll put a little wash On that top surface, and so watch. I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a fairly large gradient, but I'm gonna make a fairly extreme making that look a little bit more reflective. I think I could probably knock the opacity down just a little bit on that. Uh, and then what we need to do is we need to come over to the other side. do somewhat of a similar treatment. So, magic wand. I'll probably do want this to take on a similar highlight over here. So again, real big. And then we can add we can add a crisper.
highlight across there. Um, let's see. See a little bit of something that I don't want right there. Hopefully I can find that layer. There it is. And now we need to figure out what to do with the legs. Hmm. Let's go with that. Let's put these underneath those earlier layers. Let's move this down here. Um, let me get rid of that. Um, let's see. So, add a layer. Go to my black airbrush. Really, really large airbrush. Before we do that, let's use the magic wand and select all of that. Go back here. And that's just a really slight gradient rolling around the side of this grill. It looks like I missed some down near the bottom, so let's take a couple of steps back. Really, what I want you to notice, notice where I'm actually laying down that big airbrush that's well to the, to the right of the actual leg. All right. Not huge difference right there. We go to white, add a layer. Let's use this. Maybe pop a highlight. I guess I need to pop that highlight way up here. And then I actually feel like I want to maybe add a little bit of glossiness to this. So I'm going to add a layer on top of that gray and come into this, go to black. Um, let's come back here and magic wand select that base color. Oops, come back here.
and I can adjust the opacity of that. Maybe make it not quite as bold. And then let's add a shadow from that shelf. Coming down. Um, let's magic swap. Magic wand select this on the back. Um, really, to keep with this, I need to go with a white kind of on the front. And then we need to add black. In there. I don't mind this color scheme too much. Uh, lastly, I think I'm just going to, even though I don't have some line work in there, I'm going to go to um, a real dark color. I'm actually just going to drop this in like so. And I know that somewhere back there, I'm going to lock that transparency and make that a little bit darker, just with some straight black. Um, I need to work on the handle. It's going to be way up in front of You know what, I'm just going to add another layer right here. And we'll go with the same, same dark gray. It's just a little bit different, enough to let that pop. Uh, let's magic wand select that. Add a new layer. Go to black. Just as that handle rolls up under. And then we'll go to white. Add a new layer. Uh, it's probably too big. Just kind of pop that handle that rolls around. Maybe I even give it just a little bit of a bump right there. We use that same black for the knobs. And here what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and render just one of these. And I'll render, render the middle one. And I can probably then take that and copy and paste it to the other two. So, magic wand select, add a layer. That's probably good. Go with black. Pop the white. Erase what we don't want there. Um, in fact, that's probably pretty good. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and merge those two. And then I'll duplicate the layer.
select all. I don't know what this is. Duplicate the layer. Select all. Go to my move tool. Drag that over to there. It looks like I may need to just erase a little bit because of foreshortening. And I can really just merge all three of those. Now let's see, I probably can get move just a little bit more right there. And I do want to pop a highlight on each of those. Just go to my pencil. Just pop that highlight. Let's see, I need to get this small detail, which should be fairly simple. Base color, small. All I'm doing is applying the exact same rendering methods. Oh, I need that to be white. So that we learned in the summer and that we've taken a little bit different approach on this. Okay, let's make this a, let's go with a light gray temperature gauge. Let's make the front glass just a little bit darker than the rest. And again, I can should be able to pop a little highlight here. Maybe the one down here. I could probably throw a small highlight there and right there. Maybe even add just a little bit of dark to separate that little embossed area from everything else. that opacity a little bit and I'm 
One last thing. Let me just give it a little depth. And we'll adjust that opacity just a little bit. I guess the last thing we could do, if I've got this highlight here, I could probably throw another one across the top. Maybe going in the opposite direction. So let's go to white. Uh, let's magic wand select this. Come back up here. Large gradient. Knock that down just a little bit. Let's see, what else do we need? Um, let's go back to our highlights. Let's put one there, maybe roll it around that wheel just a little bit. And one there. Let's see, could we have one out here? Maybe, maybe one right there. Um, and I feel like that's probably pretty good. Uh, let's go here. I'm just going to select a marquee. And paint bucket. Black. Fill that. And just knock the opacity back just a little bit. I think maybe right here. No, yeah, that's going to be in shadow. So let's add something else to that. It's going to be here. Magic wand. Here. Real dark. That's it.